In requital of their crimes and in honor of the crucified, banish them from our realm. The Jews first arrived in England with William the Conqueror in 1066, who invited them from France to help him with his financial needs. The Jews were skilled in money lending, a practice that was forbidden by the church for Christians. The Jews became the king's direct subject, which gave them some protection from the local lords and the church, but also made them vulnerable to the king's whims and demands. The Jews were often heavily taxed discriminated against and accused of various crimes such as blood libel, ritual murder and poisoning wells. They also faced violent attacks from mobs, especially during the Crusades, when many Jews were massacred or forced to convert to Christianity. The situation worsened under Edward I, who came to the throne in 1272. Edward was a devout and ambitious king who wanted to reform the church, unify the law and conquer Wales and Scotland. He also had a huge debt partly due to his expensive wars. To raise money, he imposed heavy taxes on everyone, including the Jews. He also restricted the Jews' economic activities, banning them from money lending, farming and trading. He forced them to wear badges to identify themselves and to live in segregated areas called Jewries. He also confiscated their property and arrested many of them on false charges of clipping coins. Some of the Jews were executed, while others were tortured and imprisoned. In 1290, Edward decided to get rid of the Jews altogether. He issued the Edict of Expulsion, which ordered all Jews to leave the country by November 1st that year. He gave them permission to take their movable goods, but not their lands, houses or debts. He also promised them safe conduct, but many of them were robbed, killed or enslaved by pirates and bandits on their way out. About 16,000 Jews were expelled, most of them going to France, the Netherlands or Germany. Some of them later moved to other countries such as Portugal, Turkey, or Morocco. The Edict of Expulsion remained in force for the rest of the Middle Ages. In Britain in 1290 is ethnically cleansed, expelled from the kingdom, penniless and homeless. That is totally shocking. Making England the first European country to expel its entire Jewish population. The expulsion had a lasting impact on the history and culture of England. It deprived the country of a valuable source of revenue, trade and innovation. It also created a void in the financial sector, which was later filled by Italian bankers and merchants. It also affected the English language, which lost many words of Hebrew origin, such as campfire, goma and jubilee. It also erased the memory of the Jewish presence in England, which was only revived centuries later, when Oliver Cromwell allowed the Jews to return in 1656. The Edict of Expulsion was a tragic example of religious intolerance and persecution, which sadly repeated itself in many other places and times. It also showed the resilience and adaptability of the Jewish people, who despite their suffering and exile, managed to preserve their faith, identity and culture. The Edict of Expulsion is a reminder of the importance of respecting and protecting the rights and dignity of all people, regardless of their religion, ethnicity or background. Thank you for watching this episode of the Untold History channel. If you enjoyed it, please like, share and subscribe to our channel. See you next time. The Great Mosque is close to Christ's tomb. Further along at the foot of the Wailing Wall, a Jew is reciting a prayer. He is wearing a Turkish tabush, and though he prays in Hebrew, his everyday language is Arabic. Jews form half the population of Jerusalem.